The Aral Sea was once the fourth largest lake in the world, bursting with life. Fish thrived in its waters, wild animals roamed its shores, and flocks of birds filled the sky. Fishing was a way of life, and businesses flourished. The sea was the heart of the region. But destroying nature is easy, and bringing it back is almost impossible. In the 1960s, the Soviet Union drained the rivers that fed the sea. The water disappeared. By 2010, the South Aral Sea was gone, leaving behind only dust and death. In its place, the Aralcom Desert, the youngest desert on Earth, was born. Winds carried toxic dust across the land, ruining farms and making people sick. Rusting ships lay stranded on dry land, a haunting reminder of what was lost. But now, a new fight has begun. Since 2021, millions of desert trees have been planted to stop the deadly sandstorms. By 2024, nearly half a million hectares were reforested, and more will follow in 2025. Yet, no matter how hard people try, the South Aral Sea will never return. The best they can do is stop the land from getting worse. Nature does not forgive. Once lost, it is nearly impossible to restore. Let this be a warning, protect the planet before it's too late. Subscribe and share for the latest updates on humanity's impact on nature.